Hey everyone, I'm Scarzard and welcome to the first episode of my new YouTube series called Friendetta. This is a, a EDH or Commander, as I'll be continuing to call it, a gameplay series made up of a bunch of my close friends and I who are all playing from around the country and sometimes around the world. I, I gotta be honest, I was never into Commander. I always thought it was too easily broken. I thought it wasn't, you know, like why would I invest all of my time just to lose, you know, on, on turn three to whatever, whatever. And when I met up with some of my friends in LA who also had Commander decks, I realized what is such a simple truth for many of you out there, and that is your playgroup and the people that you have in it make the experience so, so much better. And, and I feel so strongly about the kind of fun that I have with them that I decided to make a series about it. So this is Friendetta. We love each other. We're going to try to kill each other pretty constantly, back and forth just like that. And my sincere hope is that you have as much fun playing with my friends as I do. So uh, yeah, we have a pretty spicy one to start off, uh, and I hope that you enjoy the games. Hey everyone, uh, I am Scarzard, or Patrick if you prefer. Uh, I'm going to be playing Joda, Archmage Eternal. Joda is a really powerful five color commander that lets you make all sorts of discounts on really, really big spells. And my deck, while still having a lot of big sweet spells, has tried to lean as much as possible into the big mana or CMC matters theme. So there are things like Soren, Grim Nemesis, and his plus one, things like Twilight Prophet, things like Vile Smasher and Baneful Omen that actually can and kind of from out of nowhere, dome all of my opponents for 11 or 13 or, or these incredibly large numbers and really try to embrace the the sweet big stuff. So there's kind of some do-nothing spells in here. There's kind of some just really large things, cards that are just there because they're mana cost. But uh, if, if he's allowed to ramp out, uh, some really ridiculous plays can happen. All right, Eli, go. Hey, uh, so this is Eli. I'm playing my... Favorite commander in Magic the Gathering, Maelstrom Wander. Maelstrom Wander uh, lets you play the two best colors in commander in green and blue, and then add the spice of red. Uh, a Maelstrom Wander gives everything, all creatures you control haste, and he cascades twice with a CMC of eight. Uh, and he really, to me, is uh, he solves all the problems that you tend to have when you try to play Battle Cruiser Magic by casting one big spell at a time, because not only does he bring out two guaranteed additional spells, but he'll give anything you bring out uh, haste. So he tends to have these big, insane, splashy turns. And as I have upgraded this deck and, and played with it, what I've really geared it towards is uh, the sort of more modern philosophy of no tutoring where you're searching your deck, only revealing the top X cards of your deck. Uh, and so I never want it to be overly consistent. I never want to play out the same kills over and over. Uh, this is very much a deck where you get started going downhill and then throw your hands up and see where it lands. Sweet. All right, Zach, hit us, hit us with that Mimeoplasm, baby. All right, I'm playing Mimeoplasm for this game. This has been by Commander since actually before it was released. Once I saw it, I started throwing decks together and testing with it. The current iteration is sort of based around lands and using stuff like Life from the Loam to just churn through itself and sort of build out a puzzle. It can win any sort of long game at some point. It's just figuring out the most efficient way to get there with all the limited resources that make the decisions in Magic interesting. My name is uh, Alex, or Shinkari. Uh, this, is my, uh, this is my EDH deck called Nath of the Guilt Leaf. This originally made from a lot of the cards from my childhood back in 2012, when I was finally able to jump back into Magic, because I loved this game. I played it a lot with my older brother in 2001. This was originally Yeva Nature's Herald, and it became Nath of the Guilt Leaf once I realized how much I loved green and black together. So Nath of the Guilt Leaf is a five mana four four elf warrior that says at the beginning of your upkeep, you may have a target opponent discard a card at random, and whenever an opponent discards a card, you may put a one one green elf warrior creature token into play. So this deck is going to be elf ball. I'm going to be trying to play as many elves as possible, ramp out into like finishers like. Azuri Renegade Leader, Crater Hoof Behemoth, uh, Chroma's Memorial, and just going as wide as I possibly can, killing as many people as I possibly can. With also like a splash of some cool like Lorwyn Elf uh, flavor, some nice discard mechanics, 
like this deck is is my baby. It has been uh, is my oldest and most favorite uh, commander deck. All right, sweet. Sarazard. Shinkari, you won the die roll that you didn't see. So uh, I think you're going to be the one to start That's us off here. That's my favorite here, but... type of win. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> just, <laughs> just being Wins handed. I didn't even know about. <laughs> All right. Go for it, pal. All right. So I'm going to start it off and draw. It's going to be a weird start for me. So I'm going to play a Swamp. I'm going to cycle a Baron more. Okay. And then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Sweet. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to play an Overgrown Tomb tapped and pass to you. I'm the black-green deck now. <laughs> uh, okay, so I will pay, play Misty Rainforest, crack it, go to 39, uh, and then I'll find an untapped green source and play Lanor Elf. Oh, lord, here, here it comes. Okay, I'll play Okina Temple to the Grandfather, play out an exploration, and then use the extra land drop to play Demir Aquedect. Wow. Wow. Look at you. All right, okay. yeah. When I said we were bringing out the big guns today, I I did not know how right I was. I'm going to play a command tower. I'm going to play a skull clamp. Cool. Pass All right. Turn. Okay. Tap and draw. I'm going to play a stomping ground uh, tapped, and I will pass to you, Eli. I'll tap first. Rogue's Passage. Kodama's Reach. Okay. Pass. Okay. I'll get a mountain into play tapped and a force to my hand. I think I'm going to one-up your fetch by playing a Delta and a Rainforest and going to get two. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. All right, so you're going to get a 38. Give me any jelly yeah, cream, that man. All right, well, I'm not exactly happy about this start. We are going to play a Cavern of Souls and name Elves and pass the turn. Well, you know what? That's still yeah, I mean, pretty good. Some people just don't have stuff to do on turn three. Like, I mean, you know. You're, I mean, you're, you, know. you know. All right, so, so I'm going to play Reflecting Pool. And I'm going to tap all three, and I'm going to play a card that very few of you have seen, Recross the Paths. Uh, reveal right. card, reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a land card and put it into play. So in this case, then, I get a Flooded Strand, and now I clash with an opponent, which is the old <laughs> mechanic from the oh, Lorwyn no. block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I dare you. I, I double know. talk dare you. I'm not going to. I'll clash with, uh, I'll clash with shinkari probably. that's all right all right so, right so so okay one two three go Flip. all right i gotta land you gotta land so i did not yeah. win the clash so this this card does not return to my hand it goes to the graveyard and uh and actually we can both uh choose to keep this on top or choose to keep it on the bottom the card that uh that, that you revealed for the clash the yeah and then uh and then i'm going to crack this uh flooded strand uh also taking one and then pass to eli let's get a, a tapped land um, I'll play a basic island, and then I'm going to ponder. <gasps> banned! Um, banned card! <sighs> <laughs> uh, draw this card, and then I will play Noir Elf. Um, tropical for... I'm sorry. Rampant for growth. Coiling Oracle, okay. revealing uh, Hinterland Ooh. Harbor. Play. Ooh. The synergy. Yeah. Uh, and then be, 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 be. Oh my Pass. god. I'll pass my turn from there. I will say that that's not my favorite art of ponder. That's which, fair. Like, like a lot of people, a lot of people love that art. My favorite art is the one from Lorwyn. I can't where, stand uh, that one. Yeah, where, Eli. Really? Eli. One? Eli is yeah. is uh, uh, and I don't know what what like the good version of an art snob is like art Slytherin like like well, it's, I'm it's, art, it's, I'm it's I'm an art director professionally. Yeah, I know. It's it's just it's just like I love all the goofy shit. And Eli is just sort of like, no, I cannot abide by this. Like, we're, we're playing beautifully powerful engine Magic the Gathering, right? You can't just have the goofy-ass merfolk if you can have, you know, like, signed, beautiful, like, yeah. could, yeah. you know, could could fucking uh, put this on, like, the ceiling of your beautiful home art, you know? Yeah, I'm with Eli on the art front. I try and find the pretty stuff. and. Yeah. Speaking of that, I'll use Simic Growth Chamber to replay one of my beautiful Rob Alexander uh, yeah. Shocklands and get Johnny Magic out. Johnny Magic, his damn self. All right. oh, wait, 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 what is Johnny that? Magic. That's uh, a, what, that? what, Shadow Mage Infiltrator? Yeah, Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Yeah, so it's just a 1-3 with fear that when it deals damage, someone draws a card. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's uh, what, John Finkel, right? Is that his name? Yeah. Like what? Like is he it's still like the? Card. Is he still like the most winningest player in Magic history or something? Like he he went on like a um, legendary run or something. 
it, well, it's so Kai has the most Pro Tour wins, but John has a post Hall of Fame career that could get him into the Hall of Fame again. Again. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's, yeah. <laughs> Honorary multi Hall of Famer. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to play a forest. I'm going to tap four. And I'm going to cast a, uh, a card that I don't know if any of you guys know. Uh, Sky Shroud Poacher. Oh, oh yeah, the elf tier. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. They're just elves. Yeah. Sky Shroud Poacher is a four mana two two that says for three for any, three of anything and tap. Uh, search your library for an elf card. Put that card into play and then shuffle your library. <laughs> okay. Well. It's okay. They're just elves. Don't oh sure. It. Yeah. Okay. Just, fine. Yeah. Forget awesome. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredibly normal. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna draw. Who? Who we? Um. Love me some of that. I'm going to play a Reliquary Tower, so I have no maximum hand size. Uh, I'm going to play Mirari's Wake. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's sure. a good just, one. So, uh, so, yeah. so creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and whenever I tap a land for mana, add one mana into the mana pool of any type that land produced. Traditionally considered strong. <laughs> yeah. All right, go for it. Traditionally considered. Patrick, I'll nug you for two. All right, I'm taking two. So, yeah. Are we yeah. are we getting a raid trigger? <laughs> no, me is too. Really is just hunting wilds. Okay. Are you done, Eli? Yes, I am. Okay. Then I think I'm gonna hit you with Johnny. That's oh. fair. Yeah. I'll so you like thirty-seven? Is Johnny a? John, I thought he was a two-one. No, he's a one-three. He's a one-three. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right. That sounds good to me. Yep. Right, your card. I'll play uh, forest and Okina, which can pump any legendary creature. All right. I'm going to play a swamp for turn. Then I'm going to tap three. I'm going to activate Sky Shroud Poacher. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to search my library for an elf card and put that card into play. So I am going to grab one of my favorites. Yeah, da, 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 ha, 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 what else? Hey, oh, yeah. there you go. Go get a forest while you're at it. <laughs> yes. What else comes into play? I search my library for a forest card and put that card into play and then shuffle my library. Y'all with all your forests. I technically have forests. Oh god, this is going to be a hell of a turn off, Patrick. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm going to try to make it a hell of a turn, I gotta say. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a uh, Overgrown Tomb, and I'm going to put it into play tapped. Then I'm going to tap Cavern of Souls, generate one colorless mana. I'm going to equip Wood Elves with Skull Clamp. Okay. <laughs> Cool. It will die, and I will drop. Thank you for your service. <laughs> you are dismissed. We had you to on this hat. We had to fling you out of the deck to give me a forest, and then and then die immediately to draw two cards. All right. Yeah, it's just like thank you for your service, Wood Elves. Now you can die. Die, please. You're dead. <laughs> All right. And then draw two cards. All right. Is it my turn? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Ugh, okay. Um, this is. The hand's still a little bit awkward, but I do think I get to do something kind of cool. Uh, this is going to look a little janky, but I promise. So, so Mirari's Wake, is it only gives me double of the mana it produced. Yeah, it produced. Right. So, so I guess. It's perfect mana for Jota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do one, two with Reliquary Tower, and then a third floating with Stomping Ground. I, oh, well, I have, I have another floating now. I'm going to play Coalition Relic. Okay, uh, okay. And Coalition Relic is going to help me uh, cast this spell that I want very perfectly. Uh, so we're going to do white, white, blue, blue, black, black, and a third blue. And if anyone knows what it is, it's oh, Brilliant baby. Ultimatum. Oh, Lord. All right. So uh, I remove the top five cards of my library from the game. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Uh, I may play any number of cards from one of the piles without paying their mana costs. Yikes. Um, and it's non-land, so so these piles can sometimes get very slim. We're gonna see Zakama, Primal uh, Calamity, yikes. Maelstrom Males. Wanderer, <laughs> Decimate, uh, Mana Confluence, which stays exiled, and it's so ugly, and Ashen Rider. Yikes! Yikes! So who do I want to make these piles for me? Um, huh. Sorry. So Zakama won't untap my lands, and Maelstrom Wanderer won't double cascade. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. So it's not as bad as it could be. Forget about it. Yeah. But it's still quite bad. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to choose... You know what? Because I flipped a Maelstrom Wanderer, Eli, you get to make these piles. Oh, don't do this to me. Um, <laughs> all 
All right, Maelstrom Wonder and Ashen Rider. And- this is this what you're thinking. How do we feel about that table? The fact that you separated the two removal spells is good to me. Is Ashen Rider on cast or yeah. ETB? It's on ETB. Yes, ETB. And then, and then dies, right? Uh, yeah, it's 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 when it enters the battlefield and dies, exile target permanent. Well, yeah, the, the the separating the two removal spells is correct. I and like even if it was cast, separating Zakama and Maelstrom Wander is also correct. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take the Ashen Rider Maelstrom Wander pile. It feels yeah. correct to me. So so these stay exiled. They will. They're never to return. Yes, um, Mr. Kama. We and uh, and Murari's Wake uh, gives these plus plus one plus ones. So this is an eight okay. six and a six six. Uh, on end of the battlefield, Ashen Rider comes into play. And uh, let's see, who's trying to who's trying to ex- have a permanent exiled? Uh, I'm going to exile Eli's Rogue's Passage. All right, that's right. You, you get to keep you get to keep your colored mana, but you are not getting another land. And then I'm going to attack with six in the air and eight on the ground. Um, I'll send eight at Shinkari because he hasn't taken damage yet, and right. six at Zack. I block with my face. Okay. All right. So Zack goes to 32. Just and put my internal organs right in front of it. And Shinkari goes yep. down to 32 as well. Both of you at 32. Yes. Look, it's so perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Twinsies. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. And uh, Eli, there you go. Oi. All right, so you put me down to seven mana one time, baby. Oh. Ah, shit. Oh. Okay. Let's go well, wandering. All right. Look, just remember that I didn't attack you. I, did, I didn't let you get off free, but I, right. but, but I also had to do it. Okay. So Vincer's the first one. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're, is your land of war tapped to pay for it, or is it not? Oh, yes, correct. Yeah, okay. thank you. Vincer's the first one. Do you want to bounce <laughs> Maelstrom Wander to my hand? I sure don't, oh, boss. <laughs> uh, I am, <laughs> am going to... Bounce Marari's wake. Okay. Um, so okay, so he's got the stack. Vincer bounces. I'll pick the the or sorry, he's in play, and then I'll pick the put two cards from your hand or two creatures from your hand into play mode. Jeez. Yep. Uh, and I'll pick Sphinx Ambassador and Hellkite Tyrant. Okay. So sure. this is profoundly is, awkward. The... Sphinx what Ambassador is very difficult to resolve via telephone. Okay. <laughs> What, what, how about read, 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 uh, read, Can you read this, the Sphinx to me? Sphinx Ambassador says, whenever Sphinx Ambassador deals to a player, search that player's library for a card. Then that player names a card. If you search for a creature card that isn't the named card, you may put it onto the battlefield under your control. Then that player shuffles his or her library. So, hmm. yeah. Don't suppose any of you guys have your deck lists on tapped out, do you? Uh, I actually do. Might. Well, if if Shinkari does, then I think you're I think you're hitting think Shinkari with it. it. How are we for okay. real? Oh wait, wait. So okay. Uh, uh, so do you guys want to just try and play it? Like I will just guess a creature in your in your deck, and if it's in there and you don't guess the correct name, then I'll get it. Yeah. So you should write the name down. Have the person you're hitting guess, and then reveal the name. Yeah. Look, uh, I will I will absolutely get hit by that Sphinx if you don't hit me with the Tyrant. I feel like I feel like that's even for 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 making you make piles and getting your land, but not getting attacked. Uh, you're definitely the threat on the board, buddy. <laughs> well, okay, so I had a turn, and you had a turn, and these two are about to have their powerful turns. I mean, I'm just um, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Patrick, I'm gonna hit you with Ambassador Shinkari. I'll hit you with Tyrant. Zach, I'll hit you with one. All right, so, so pa- Zach, Zach's at 25, Shinkari yeah. is at 26, and I just took, what, five or six? Uh, you just took five. Okay, and so you search through my deck for a creature. Have you, have you written down a creature? Not yet. <laughs> okay. I am not entirely sure. Hey, uh, Patrick, I've written down my choice. Okay, and does it does it cast or does it enter the battlefield? Do you, do you put it into play? What is the wording of... The Sphinx Ambassador. Uh, put it into the battlefield under my control. In fact, okay. let me double check the wording on my choice to see if it makes sense anymore. All right, so I'm ready. Okay. Um, What's your choice? I don't think it's what you guessed, but I think it would be worse for me to you to, for you to get. Uh, so I hope I'm not wrong, but I'm going to say Nezahal. No. I, okay. Uh, Myogen. Okay. My Myogen. All right. Sweet. Yeah. This you- is my Myogen of the Seeing <laughs> Yeah, you, you just have a three three. Yeah, it doesn't have a divinity counter because it has to be cast from hand. It says comes into play with. 
No, the video oh, if you play it from your hand, oh, yeah. From your hand, right? All yeah, right. I literally checked the word and just I I I I I scanned it and looked at the last or the first line of the text and didn't read the last line. So as brutal as that is, I suppose that's what I get for being. All right. So so Myogen is exiled from um, my from from my well, deck. It's not exiled. It's in, well, it, it is it is in play. it's in my yeah. temporary exile zone okay, in sure. my brain because Eli and I are many hours apart. Unfortunate. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna poke uh, poke Eli for one, and then because this shit is getting a little too crazy for me, Bo actually, wipe the board. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up your shit, everyone. Oh pick what? Shit up. Uh, oh, it comes oh, back. To, it comes back to my hand. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, my engine's in my hand. Sweet. Okay, this rocks. Okay, well, that kind of cleanly solved the little issue with Sync Ambassador. Sort of. Um, yeah, I played two lands, so... Wait, but Skullclamp definitely if I had gotten this Skullclamp is hall. back in my hand. Skullclamp yeah, is Skullclamp back in Skullclamp is in your hand. Yeah. And yeah. that's all I've got. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play an unclaimed territory. And as it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type. You choose elf? Uh, Can I claim it? I mean, pretty, I, I just need a real think. I need to think real hard about it. Uh, it could be anything. It's it's gonna be elves. It's okay. Be elves. Right. Um, just wanted. I thought it was gonna no, be. A just wanted, Just wanted to think it over. Just wanted to make sure that. Uh, that was... uh, you could have chosen warriors. All right. So so what do you got here for us, buddy? Um. So I'm gonna go ahead. One, two. We're gonna play our good good friend Skystrap Poacher. Okay. And that's all. Uh. Yes. And then at my end Ooh. step, I need to discard uh, a card. Well, just one. So I'm going to discard the Immaculate Magistrate. Sweet. Okay, my turn. Um, then I am going to, big surprise, play out Marari's Wake again and pass the turn. Okay. Land one time. Land one time. Verdant. Crack it. I'll get Taiga. Okay. Maelstrom Wander again. Yeah. In a moment. So there's the deck. Uh, tapping out for Maelstrom Wander. All right, what do we got? Ancient, Ancient Tomb. Tomb. Arch. Okay. Unswept. Polluted. Ooh. Tarka? Oh, right. oh, wow. Cost seven. seven. Yeah. Holy yeah. yeah. There's, no, there's no other eight costs. And then Selvala, which would have been sick. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what's Ketterex Power and Toughness? Uh, five, five. So I assume it. Yeah. Gets... It, that's going to go ahead and die. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, In response, I'm going to cycle my Archfiend of Ifnir. Uh, we're just, I'm just going to play a little bit Cutthroat because that's kind of the power level we're playing at. So. Zach, I hit you with Maelstrom Wonder last round, right? Yes. Uh, like yes. Okay, so I'm going to hit you with Maelstrom Wonder again. Cool. Patrick, I'm going to hit you with Dragon Lord for eight. Okay. And uh, what's Poacher's power and toughness? Uh, is a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, I'm going to attack you with my 2-3 self -ball. I do have a response to declaring attack. Okay. And that is going to be putrefying uh, self -ball. Okay, do. Sounds good. And then one, two, three, four, six. Eight, nine. I will discard Land War Elves and Corling Oracle down to hand size and pass turn. Is it Zachary's turn? The yeah, young Z? I'm thinking. What do, what creatures do people have in their graveyard? None from me, <laughs> pal. I have a Wood Elves and a Immaculate Magistrate. Okay, just a, a bunch of tiny dudes right yeah. now. Yeah, a bunch of it's bunch basically of basically where stuff. we're at. Okay, yeah. it's tempting, but I think I just want to. Play yeah. Muldrosa. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably don't want to return Maelstrom Wander Maelstrom to Eli's Wander hand. Again. Yeah. 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 Okay, get back Polluted Delta. I'm going to go fetch something with it and then just play the Archfiend out. Okay. And that's my turn. So you go to uh, 17. What is, yep. what is the text on Muldrotha? Uh, during each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each type of permanent, a uh, card oh. of each permanent type from your graveyard. Part of each permanent type. Okay, I understand. So I did landed creature. Okay. Yes. Yep. And say go. On tap. Keep draw. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to play a wirewood lodge. Okay. Which is a which is a, a land specifically for elves. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go one two. I'll tap the swamp instead. And I'm going to search my library for an elf card and put it into play. Uh, what is the what is the power toughness of Maelstrom Wanderer? Seven five. Seven five. Seven five. 
All right, so I'm going to do the most Lorwyn elf thing I can possibly think of. <laughs> and destroy ass. target non-elf <laughs> creature whose power and toughness are not equal. Yeah, Got it. I actually like that card. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to play the Guild Leaf Winnower, the five mana, four, three with Menace. Yeah. Got him. All right, what do you got here? Uh, I am going to finish shuffling. And then I'm going to tap four. And I'm going to cast the Lis Alana Huntmaster. Okay. All right, is that all? I'll pass. Great. All right. Uh, oh, great. This gets a charge counter. Sure. Then on my turn, I untap everything. Oh, God. His act. Yo. So we're friends, right? <laughs> I wouldn't be here if we weren't. That's true. That's very, very true. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to do something that you might not like, but I'm going to give you a present, and that present is named Dragonlord of Tarka in a Graveyard. Yes, I, I am very interested. In yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured, <laughs> I figured you're pretty interested, and I figured yeah. that you're cool with your graveyard being full. So let's. I, I like so, all so, sorts of things so, in graveyard. So I'm going to do this for you, and then Dragonlord of Tarka isn't going to isn't going to come at me with any of its uh, its abilities. If, should should you choose to copy it? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to use the, the one mana from the relic, the second mana uh, from the relic to make white, and then cast and then Reliquary Tower. To cast Sublime Exhalation for only four what? mana, destroy all creatures. What? It's undaunted. The spell costs one less for each each opponent. It's a big mana cost. That's I have to play big mana costs. That's the stuff. It's like the most expensive normal ass wrath you can get. That's, that's fine. So all oh, creatures whatever. are dead. And then with the remaining mana, bring out our own Maelstrom Wanderer Oof. and see what happens. Hey, Varari's Wake is a really cool card. Mm-hmm. Bloodstained Mire, Lumbering Falls, Artisan of Kozilek gets skipped because yep. it, it is nine. nine. It's a uh, big boy. Blazing Archon is also a nine. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go here for a little bit. Oh Dude. no! Oh, Swords to Pockers, your <laughs> own Maelstrom. Well, hold oh, on. I get a, I get a oh, second on. Cascade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hold up. Cascade. This is this is ridiculous. All right, Delightful. and then Kozilek. Skip. Godless Shrine, Anguished Unmaking. Well, you know, this Yikes. wasn't ah. as good. <laughs> um, the only non-land permanent in play that doesn't belong to me is Explore, right? Uh, exploration is not here. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it got bounced your hand. All right, well, then yeah. both of these are going to the bottom of my library. And uh, we're just going to pretend it didn't happen and that it was just yeah. a board wipe. Uh, nothing to see here. Exactly. What, what didn't happen? And uh, and I'm gonna swing this seven at Eli because you gotta that's, you gotta join us in in the twenties here. Twenty nine. Yeah. And uh, well, actually, oh no, you lose one extra because of the uh, Mirror's right. Wake. Yeah. So yeah. You're okay. So you're twenty eight. All right. Pass the turn to you. Uh, I'm gonna play Fairy Artisan. Fairy Artisan says, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under opponent's control, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Then exile all other tokens created with Fairy Artisan. So every creature you guys play, I get until another creature is played, in which at which point I gain that creature. Yeah, it's real good. Cool. And then I'm going to pass my turn. It's real good against, uh, say, Ashen Rider. It's a or card. like Mimeoplasm as yeah. a concept. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm going to cycle my Lonely Sandbar. Just draw That's card. the Lonely oh. Island. Yeah, That's the Lonely Here island. we are. Let's get going. I'll play Trade Roots. It lets me return lands I control to my hand and discard lands to draw a card. So discard Swamp, draw a card. Discard Creeping Tar Pit, draw a card. I'll play Cavern of Souls Naming Ooze. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is the only ooze I can cast. No, I know, but it is the ooze. Yeah. Uh, discard Bajukabog, draw. Um, exploration, play Reliquary Tower, yeah. and then play. I want to play Johnny Magic. Okay. Oh, go ahead. He's back. He's, he's back, back, baby. He's Johnny Magic. I'm all thinking right, then, he's back. All right, so Eli, you, you have a copy of Johnny Magic. I do, in fact, have Johnny Magic damn self. So now that I have been sufficiently neutered, as some people would say. Um, Caught in the crossfires of an unjust yeah. war. Crossfire! Some, <laughs> you, you didn't yeah, ask some, for this some, shit, some might say that you, 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 you can't escape the crossing of fate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
heaven or hell let's rock oh my god uh i'm going to top five and i'm going to cast a uh, elvish soul tiller what in god's name when elvish soul tiller is put into a graveyard from play choose a creature type and shuffle all creatures of that type from your graveyard into your library it's okay. like a five four right yeah it's something big yeah, like the art suggests that it's a dork and he's actually fucking swole as hell. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he can take the mail from Wander in single combat. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is the effect do again? What are you doing right now? You're searching for something. I uh, so so when it's put into a graveyard from play, I choose a creature type and shuffle all creatures of that type from my graveyard into my library. Oh, hey, wow, okay, that's pretty yeah, good. Hi. Oh, well, that's yeah. why he's so big. He's got to carry them all out of death itself. Yeah. yeah. He's, got, yeah. he's been, he's been yeah. training for this moment. Every fucking <laughs> elf has to climb on his back to get out of hell, but he looks back as, as, they, as they reach a single hand and just gives them the thumbs up as he falls backwards into but, hell. But isn't he, if I name elf, doesn't he get shuffled in? Oh, maybe, never mind. Then that's nowhere near as metal as I thought. Judge? Judge? Um, does the card say exile it when you do the thing? Uh, no. Does it say other cards of that type? Uh, no. Yeah, then it'll go back in. Elder uh, Soul Tiller. I did actually tap my unclaimed territory to play a Soul Clamp. Skull Clamp. Oh, okay. oh, baby. All right. I don't even uh, know what a Soul real, Clamp real quick, is. Real quick. Does Soul Tiller say when it goes to a graveyard or when it leaves play? Uh, it says when it is put into a graveyard from play. Okay. So I would assume right. that it's yeah. been eroded to when it dies. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It w- I won't get the trigger off of our. Yeah, I'm just going to put skull clamp onto uh, onto my uh, <laughs> so soul tiller. Swoller yet? Okay. Swole, the elvish swole tiller and pass yes. The turn. There we go. <laughs> yes. We found it. We absolutely did. Find <laughs> it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I drew the cards. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I swore uh, an oath to Zach. And, I, and by that, I mean I just said I wasn't going to hit him, at least for a little bit. Um, so I have 11 mana right now, which is certainly an amount of mana. Eli, how many permanents do you control? I can Permanents? Yeah. Let's see, that's eight lands and two creatures, so total 10. Okay. One, two, three, four. Soren, Grim Nemesis? Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Vincer that back to your hand. Okay. Soren has returned to my hand. Tap two to play unexpected results. So shuffle my library, reveal the top card. If it's a non-land card, I can cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's a land, put it into the battlefield and return unexpected results to its owner's hand. All right, and it's Ramos, the dragon engine. <laughs> Ramos. Okay, I know I have a Ramos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if we can fuck this up. I'm really excited. Okay. Um, so Ramos has haste and is a five, five flyer. You have a four, four flyer. I do. Um, or a two, two flyer. Well, no, I, I mean, you have the copy of Ramos, oh, which yeah, is not, which is not buffed in any sense. So before combat, I'm going to point out, Okina, I can make any legendary creature get plus one, plus one bigger. Okay. Aha. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know whose side are you on. If, if I attack with that Ramos, you can buff his Ramos. I don't know whose side I'm on either. I was just... I okay. started pointing a gun at both of us. <laughs> okay. It's a Mexican Waggling stand. Waggling his eyebrows. Like the, like the suggestive... Uh, well, ha! well um, okay, so Eli currently can't cast Mails from Wanderer. I'm going to sit on this casual 13 damage Lots. we got here. Draw. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so first things first, going to... Actually, the real first thing probably be this. I'm going to Bloodbraid Elf, getting two tokens onto Ramos. Okay. Two onto Ramos, and I'm going to Cascade into Arbor Elf, putting an additional to- counter onto Ramos. Uh, play Fendahorn Elves, get an additional counter on Ramos. On fake Ramos. Yeah. And then... Uh, Patrick, I'm gonna attack you with. Sw- with with yeah. what, what is that? It's Ramos with four plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, um, I'm gonna block with my own Ramos. Okay, so my and Ramos then, is dead. Yeah, and then Zach, I'm gonna attack you with. I will return a force to my hand and discard it to draw a card. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna take three, or you're gonna block. Yeah, I'm taking three. Okay, Go so, to mid. so Zach, you're you're at fourteen. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to pass turn. 
Um, God. yeah. So I'll do another cycle here. I might. I mean, I might be able to on my next turn help help this fairy artisans go away. If you want to play that mimeoplasm. Just play Mimeo Plus into it. it. See what happens. You play Keterix, though, just to make the world a little safer. But first, I think I'm going to attack Eli for... I'm going to poke in for one in a card. Okay. okay. Take good 27. Yeah. God. Yeah. All things Let's... considered, this is a board I don't mind picking. Just keep getting Vincer back over in Blood Raid. Enjoy. Yeah, I think it's time I just start making big stuff. So I'll play Kaiga. Okay, I get Kaiga. Yeah, the, uh, the Ramos goes away. It doesn't keep it. It gets exiled, so it's a completely yeah. different option. It's going to respond yeah. to Kaiga uh, playing Vampiric Tutor. Okay, and I have okay. no lands, and uh, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say F6, like F6. do whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I took two life from you. So, so Shinkari and I are at 24. Eli is at 27, and Zach is at 14. So, well, but, uh, so I have it now. I have a fairy artisan. You have two fairy artisans. I have two fairy artisans and a. I sure don't like that. <laughs> My brain is fucking melting. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when, when your fairy is in play... You have two for now. I, two. I have yes. one. Okay, cool. Done. All right. Wow. Wow. That was, wow. A, that was a good... Wow. So My deck's all shuffled up. The card that I searched for is going on top of my library. And uh, Vampiric Tutor is going to go into the graveyard. Okay. Right. The thing with fairy artisans is they exile all other things created by fairy artisans. It, it only counts itself, correct? No. Or, oh, yeah, it is itself. Yeah, so I'll wind up with two tokens, but the... the, the yeah, then the one revert, go away. and then... I'll only ever get two tokens once. All right. Yes, right? but you will keep one of the I'll tokens both. around forever, because the other fairy artisans... It will be gone, so it won't be able to gone, exile so. it. All yeah, right, yes, so Shinkari. So dope. So, so Shinkari, dope. just just as long as you're aware, uh, he's about to get a permanent copy of whatever creature you play next, and, and then a temporary, temporary copy. Natural order. Oh. As an additional cost to natural order, I'm going to sacrifice Elvish Soul Tiller. Okay. I'm Elvish just Soul Tiller, Elvish Soul Tiller again. Just draw two. Or so no, wait, that doesn't I'm work. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going so Elvish Soul Tiller dies, so I get the Skull Clamp and the Elvish Soul Tiller on the stack before Natural Order. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yes. do Soul Tiller, and then I'm going to do Skull Clamp. Okay. okay. So I'm going to sh I'm going to name Elf. I'm going to shuffle Elvish Soul Tiller, Lissalana Huntmaster, uh, Guilt Leaf Winnower, Immaculate Magistrate, and Wood Elves Woo! all back in my library. Uh, this does not get shuffled because it is a human. Not an Elf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry, it's just elves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, elves. just elves. So if I give you something cool, you're, will, you, will you leave yeah. me alone for a bit? I'm, I'm thinking you and I slug it out at the end. That's how I'm feeling. Okay, wow. so if I get something cool, you yeah. will leave me alone. Yes, guaranteed. For a bit. All right, guaranteed. guaranteed. All, right. All right. It's not so every day you get a token in. copy of Fairy. I draw two cards off of Skull Clamp. Yeah. And the cool thing I wanted to grab off of Natural Order was just wrong. Oops. Order lol. <laughs> Wow. Order, lol. Na natural order, <laughs> lol. <laughs> wow, holy fuck. So, uh... Yikes. Uh, so I was going to grab you something me, cool, so, um... Give me, uh... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> don't, don't let him choose. You I could, what? uh... I could, I could be happy with an arch druid. You know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll do you one better. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll give you uh, a cool. wirewood channeler. Ooh. What is so Wirewood Channeler is a four mana two two that says tap add X mana of any one color to your mana pool where X is the number of elves in play. Oracle of Moldaya. Ooh. That would have right. been okay. Um that means we both reveal the top cards of our deck, Eli. Yeah. Yeah. Because we get copies. Alright, sweet. So what is the Eli can't we can't see your deck. It's it's a land. Not so uh it says I may play an additional land on each of my turns. I play with the top card of my library revealed, and I may play the top of my card, the, top, the card on the top of my library as long as it's a land card. I know it would be kind of hard to see with my light. Yeah. Uh, I will then pass the turn. All right, I'm going to play wow. Command Tower, and uh, and I did the charge counter thing. So and I then have... I'm going to wipe the board again. So um... have... Well, I mean, I really <laughs> am. So I'm going to one, two, three... If I'm if I'm gonna do this correctly, one two three with one floating, play pernicious deed. Oof, oof. That's a morbid draw card. 
No, no, it's uh, no, 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 it's no, no, no. <laughs> it's much better. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an enchantment. It's a three minute enchantment. It says X sacrifice permission to deed destroy each artifact creature in enchantment with converted mana cost X or less. Oh, Oof. yeah, yikes! It's okay. And you have Ferrari's uh, wake out. Yeah, yeah, I do. So I, I have one floating, two, three, and then we'll use the one floating from relic, the one that comes off of the charge counter. Yes. Uh, plus the other one that was floating and sack it for four, I well, believe. Ka- Kaiga. Kaiga is six. Yeah. Yeah, Kaiga yeah. gets to stay. No. Why? Cool. Because, I appreciate because, if, me- because if I make it big enough to kill Kaiga, then I have to spend more mana and he gets to mind control my Maelstrom Wanderer. Link? Uh, okay. And I would right. like Maelstrom Wanderer to not... Well, just kill everything then. Well, but I don't want my Mirari's Wake to die. All right, all right. And I don't want Kaiga, and I don't want this to be all mind right, control. Right, right, right. Look, look, look. Okay, so it's four. So everyone should lose, I'm pretty sure... I think pretty much everything. Uh, Coalition Relic is going to die, so I'm going to tap it for one. Um, We're going to use Trade Roots one last time to cycle away... What do I want to get rid of? Oh, probably Overgrown Tomb. Just discard. The top card of my deck is an island. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw that because you trade wins while you still have the Oracle of Moldiah out. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we all know what that thing is. So I have one mana floating. I just, I just want both of you to know that I gave you both Oracles of Moldiah. Just yes. Saying. Yeah. Just, okay. Just commit that to memory. So I have I have one from Coalition Relic. I have two from a land. So I'll tap both of these, and then I will play Soren Grim Nemesis onto this empty board here. Then we plus Soren, and everybody loses four life. Uh, all of you. So. Okay. Right. I'm down to like seven, right? You're, you're down to you're down to ten. Is what I have you. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's Collective Restraint is the card that's going into my hand. Creatures can't attack you unless the controller pays X for each creature attacking me, where X is the number of basic land types I control. Um, and then Soren goes up to seven as a result of this. And I have the ability to attack. Zach, so our enemies here were saying that they were trying to team up. So, like, what do you, I mean, what are you yeah. feeling about that? I, I'm just generally terrified of Eli, but I think <laughs> Alex also has a lot of cards in hand, right? No, I'm very afraid uh, of kind of all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this eight at I Eli. Have four cards in my hands. I'm okay, sending so I'm sending this I'm sending this eight at Eli. So Eli goes to fifteen and we are all yeah. we're all hanging around the same life total. I like this. Yeah. I like we're all slowly getting down. It's definitely a spin slug fest. All right, okay. Eli, it's your turn. Yeah. It's been all a right. slug fest for you guys. No. <laughs> It must you're, be nice. Your elves, yeah. your, your elves will have their time. The, Land for turn. The, the elves were trampled by bigger slugs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something kind of risky but fun. Oh baby, I'm gonna play progenitor mimic as a copy of Kega. Oh wait, oh shit. Yeah, that's that does that's, work the way. Okay, you wow. Figure. And then I will pass turn. Yikes. Um, okay. Does right. anyone want to fill me in or or fill in anyone? Uh, at home? Okay, so <laughs> legend rule plus Kaiga death trigger. Mm. So progenitor mimic at every upkeep makes a copy of progenitor mimic. So it's currently Kaiga the Tide Star. Kaiga the Tide Star says when it dies, you gain control of something. But the way the legend rule works is that since they're both the same creature, you have to sacrifice one of them. Right, right. So every upkeep, Eli is going to mind control something. Yes. All right. So I have some thoughts about that, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Are you going to sacrifice you- Kaiga and take control of the progenitor mimic? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. No, that was the risk. That was the risk. Yeah. If you're going to sack Well, I, I have the Mamioplasm, but I'm just going to Dread Return. Okay. Get back Metamorph. Metamorph, make a copy As of Kaiga. Kaiga. Yeah. Uh, totally. yeah. You have all the yeah. fucking Kaigas. I've been no, I, I'm mistake. keeping the progenitor Kaiga. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Represented by... And then you mind control Maelstrom Wanderer as well? Yes. Oh, lord. I mind control oh, Maelstrom Wanderer. Lord. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> All right, this, this Maelstrom Wanderer is yours now. Yeah. Cool. It's represented by David Ochoa. Oh, my God. Is it, it's tapped, right? Or is uh, it untapped? It, it was tapped. Okay. And then... Zach, oh, remember geez. everything I've done for you. Oh, jeez. I, I remember. Let's actually make a... Uh, using Cavern of Souls, obviously. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Mimeoplasm, copying your fairy guy, and <laughs> taking a Tarka for counters. <laughs> yeah. the, the, it's a 10-10 fairy artisan? Yeah, it's a 10-10 fairy artisan. That's dope as hell. Wow. 
Ten at Eli and five at Alex. Okay, I got a five. I will. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There is a Soren in play. Soren yeah. does a lot of damage to all of us. I, I'll kill it later. Yeah. And then I'll okay. play a Cephalid Coliseum and pass the turn. We're gonna we're gonna play the cool card that I wanted to get for y'all earlier. Seedborn Muse. Oh, Ooh, that would have been real nice. Hi, hello, Seedborn Muse. Yeah, how, how you doing? Oh yeah, now now Zach gets a copy of Seedborn Muse. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, because yeah, he's got a, play he's, another creature though. He's got a ten ten fairy artisans. Yeah, but it doesn't doesn't he have to make a copy of whatever I play? Yeah, yeah. yeah so so if you play something else right now, then he doesn't have yeah. your seedborn muse, but currently he has a seedborn muse. Uh well now he has a wirewood symbiote. There you go. Sweet. Alright. And then now he has a Yuraga Warcaller multi kick zero times. <laughs> well, no matter you it's your multi kick that you care about mine's always going to be unkicked. Yeah, you yeah. can kick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't. I'm not going to kick it. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it? Is it? Is it all? Me? Yeah, I'm going to pass, and then I'm going to. Yeah. Unta- I'm going to untap. All right, everyone. Let's see if Soren. Let's see how Soren feels about me. All right. Well, let's see how Soren feels about me. All right. Jesus. So I'll play the top card of my deck, which is a land. So you. So so that's one. That's one blank out of the the chamber. So everyone pray to whatever gods th- that you uh, that you prefer while I go Less fetch. Than five. Less I'm, than five. I'm gonna go fetch for for that sweet like one percent chance. I'm gonna get an untapped godless shrine just because I don't know what's gonna happen this turn, and I have Shock a mana doubler. So yeah, so I'm, I'm at 21. All right, and I'm gonna ask Tien. Oh, not like this. I'm gonna ask not Tien to cut the deck oh. and decide decide Eli and potentially Zach's fate. Tien, oh I beg of you. Tien. Hold on, hold on. You, you have to do it on camera. You don't you to... mess this up. Don't you mess this up. Yeah, please. Wow. Just oh, my God. No. What <laughs> <are you laughs> All right, and we are going to do They're it. They're the worst. All right, here we go. Ah. Artisan ah. of Kozilek. Hey. Ah. <laughs> that is, that is nine. It, everyone takes nine damage. Oh. Jillikers. Hatbreaker, Ibex. That's I'm at yeah. one, right? All right, so, you, so Zach goes to one. Ugh. Okay. Oof, ouchie. Oof. Uh, Shinkari, oh. Shinkari goes to six. Right. I lo- I love how I love how Zach tried to live incredibly dangerously and then literally got rewarded by going to one because now you get a copy of Artisan of Kozilek. Oh baby! So you get the God. Artisan of Kozilek trigger. So Dude, no, he doesn't. It's cast, isn't it? No, I don't. Oh, it's oh, cast. It's, it's cast. It's cast. Sorry, you get a ten nine. Okay, well then I have to get I just something. Get a ten nine annihilator. I have to get something. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does it go into play? Wait. The, oh, oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Sorry, it goes into my hand. It goes into my hand. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're very right. You're very... That you're would be. You, right? That's a plus one. That's I know. Like, sorry, I was I was caught up in the moment. Okay, there's a there was a. <laughs> It was the heat of the moment. Yeah, yeah. Tien, why have you done this to me? Most... <laughs> God, can you look at the bottom of your deck and just tell me what they put on the bottom? Okay, just, I can. I can. Ultimate salt. Yeah. Oh, it was also nine. You were fucked okay. out of way. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You> were... <laughs> in fact, in fact, Tien sensed this and tried to save you yeah. by taking the nine off the top. But fool as it was, there was another nine below. One, yeah, two, okay, so I have 43, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I have 14 mana. Their judgment is absolute. Absolutely. Okay. Um, wowie. Okay. God. I, I, Eli, oh, my bones. Eli, Eli you, you are my friend and brother, and I care about you so, so much. I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're feeling it right now, Mr. Krabs. I'm Krabs. really feeling all right. it. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do this because it, it's Kind of dumb, but I, I am gonna. I'm trying wow. to look for a way to kill Zach this turn, so I'm gonna pay ten to play Miogen of Seeing Winds. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the Divinity Counter off of it to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Wow, that's um, cool. You you have you have a blocker, is that correct? I have a blocker. Yes. You have a Miogen of Seeing Winds. Yes, I do have a Miogen of Seeing Winds. Now. Wow. Okay. It is no longer indestructible. Yeah, but sweet. if I find my that which was taken, I can start drawing a bunch of cards. All right, then I'm just going to play Collective Restraint. Um, let's start off using Cephalid Coliseum on myself. I draw three cards, then discard three cards. I I guess slime I, ball your Collective Restraint. Does it get enchantments? Ooh, yeah, it hits artifacts, what? enchantments, and lands. What the fuck? All right, well, Scar, both of these are coming at you. Ten ten flyer at us. Uh, you're at 21, right? I'm at 21. Yeah, this goes at Soren. Miogen clone goes at you. Okay. Well, my Miogen will block that Miogen and survive because Murray's Wake gives it plus and plus one. Sure. So it's a 4-4. My four, Miogen four. is dead. Soren is incredibly dead. I'm done. Go ahead. All right. And All you right. have a you have a Maelstrom Wanderer on the ground? Yeah. 
All right. And you are at one. I am at one. Sweet. It's much bigger than zero. <laughs> it's, I, I'm so I, I'm, overjoyed. I'm really ex- Six, seven. I'll say it on your turn. Okay. I have a Dominaria. Promise Memorial. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so creatures I control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black, and protection from red. Oh, hey. Okay. Zach, what do you got over there? I got a slime ball and a maelstrom wanderer. Is the well the maelstrom wanderer doesn't fly? No. Uh, hey Pat, um, I'm gonna bump you for one, two, three, four damage. Four? Four, <laughs> four, four. in the air. Four oh right, air. you don't actually have like an <laughs> army. It's a <laughs> yeah, one one war color. Look, I'm telling you, like I have done like nothing this game. All right, all right, all right. Okay, is so it my turn? Pass the turn. All right, all right. So I'll play a land. I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have 16 mana. That sure is a lot. Um, yeah, that's many manas. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with one floating to play Blazing Archon. <laughs> creatures can't attack you. Yeah, so, right. it's a, so it's a six, seven. Uh, creatures cannot attack me. Do you still have a fairy artisans? Is that what's going on? I do. So creatures cannot attack me now. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <sighs> uh, so I have one. Would... So I have one floating, and I have one, two, three, four. Hmm, well, you might not be fine, but I think you could be fine. <laughs> <laughs> For some value. <laughs> oh my God! Actually, yeah. Never mind. You're incredibly fine. Uh, right. Uh, so I'm going to spend four of this mana to play Crystalline Crawler. Yeah, uh, Crystalline true. Crawler enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Uh, because of the so, way that Marari's Wake is worded, it has three counters on it. Um, it can also tap to put a counter on it. So I have yes. so What's I have base uh, one one. Okay, so I still have one. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you have a you have a one one. Uh, so I I paid four for that. So I have one floating, and I have three from this. I'm going to spend two on Crystalline Crawler. Yes. To play Swiftfoot Boots. Yes. And then the one that was floating to put the Swiftfoot Boots onto Blazing Archon. <laughs> yes. And then I am going to deal six in the air to Zach. In response, I had a counter to my thing. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Zach, you get down to five. Or, or I mean, negative five. Sorry. You're negative dead. Five. What? 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 Like, what? Yeah, yeah. That light from? Yeah, yeah. And then I get my mails from Wanderer. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait rewind, rewind for a second. Okay. Because uh, I just remember that I can do something. Oh, okay. Uh, you have a Zach. You have a flyer. I do not have a. Uh, well, I have a tapped flyer. Uh, remember what I'm doing. What I remember what I'm doing for you. Okay, I will. I'm going to activate Wirewood Symbiote. <laughs> Return <laughs> your Rock of War caller to my hands. I'm going to untap your flyer. Okay, I will. I will eat the Blazing Archon. Okay. Well, bla- there you go. Blazing Archon down. The interactions at all. Oh my lord. Uh, the gameplay. All right. So the, okay. So then I have two mana left. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well then, I don't know how much it matters, but I will remove a, the last counter from Crystalline Crawler to put the boots on the Myogen of Seeing Winds instead. All, all right. right. Then Ryan Zach is back up to one and has Remember a one. Remember what one. I did for you this day. I I do, I will. I do. What was the card you used to untap his thing? Wirewood Symbiote. Yeah, I think I'm going to send your Maelstrom Wanderer and the Mimeoplasm you, Scar. 10 in the air, 7-5 on the ground. Okay, well, I'll double block the 7-5. Okay. And so cool. and so it dies, and these die. Cool. And then I it's get my Maelstrom, yeah, Maelstrom Wanderer back into my graveyard. Okay. And I take um, 10 and go down to 7. Yeah. Uh, tap it, then add 2 mana. K7, unearth cataract leviathan, so return all the non-land permanents. All right. All non-land permanents have returned. Yeah, there's nothing on the board. I think I just played Inkwell Leviathan and pass. I instead going to play a slime ball, and then I'll pass. All right. Holy moly. Seven, six, and one. Let's go, I'm y'all. I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry. So it enters <laughs> tapped, and I can add one mana to my mana pool of my commander's color identity. 
When the mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, I scry one. Yeah. So I tap seven. I'm going to play a Chroma's Memorial. Okay. Yep. I'm going to tap uh, Cavern of Souls for green. I'm going to play Yuraga Warcaller, multi kick zero times. Is, yep. he, is he just a one one for one? He's just yes. a one one. Okay. Then I'm going to move to combat. Okay. And poke Zach. You got me. But... All right. So, so that's 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 it for your turn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm thinking there's only a few ways that I'm able to do this. Yeah. Taking me off the mana doubling. Smart play. Um, I'm going to play Steam Vents tapped. Okay. So I'm gonna play Ashen Rider no! and uh, Exile no! Akroma's Memorial. No. <laughs> the All daggers. Right. All right. Uh... And then pass the turn. Yikes. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Nath of the Guilt Leaf. Okay. Using Cabin of Souls and Path of Ancestry. So you can describe and he's uncounterable. Yes. So I'm going to scry one. And that is uh, you are useless to me now. Um, you're going on the bottom. All right. Then we are going to play. A wirewood symbiote. Okay, and that can return things. Return an elk you things. control to its owner's hand and untap target creature. Oh, it only untaps. Okay, so you can't you can't like tap my thing down. No. Yeah. I'm gonna tap two, and I'm going to make the unbelievably boring play of playing Golgari Signet. Whoa! And then I'm gonna tap for two and play Lightning Greaves. And I'm gonna put Lightning Greaves onto Nath. Okay. And Nath is he of menace? Uh, no, he does not have Menace. Okay. He doesn't have anything. He just has Shroud now with Haste. Okay. Uh, your Ashen Rider's a 5-5? Five, 5-5. Five? Five, five. And if it dies, I get to exile into the permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the totals? Uh, 7-6. Pass. Wait, who's at 6? Uh, he, uh, he is at 6. I am at 7. Okay. okay, so you're effectively tapped yes. out, right? Yes. All right, so there are a hundred ways that I can win this game. But uh, I'm going to do one. I don't want to hear that. No, 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 no. I'm going to do one that is going to be the sweetest way to potentially lose. Because you know I have okay. a Swiftfoot Boots, and you know <laughs> I have an onboard flying commander. Oh, oh, right. You you, like, like, Swift, oh, yeah, because Swiftfoot Boots got bounced back to your hand. Yeah, it got ba yeah, bounced back right. to my hand. So here's what yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. do. So I'm at seven. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the outside shot by playing one of my favorite cards of all time. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five... Uh, six. Okay. So, so well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play my land first. I'm gonna do this. Okay. So, so I'm gonna play my land first. And I'm gonna lose one life. Okay. So I go to I six. Six. <laughs> I go to six. Okay. I get a forest. Yes. Okay. Now, now I have this six mana floating. Two yes. of this mana. Yes. Is going to go towards the swift foot boots. Yes. Okay. So, so I have six mana tapped. I have one mana that I can use to equip the swift foot boots. Okay, yes. And we're going to see if I'm if I'm alive to equip it to this yeah, creature. All right. all right. Demon Lord Belzenlock. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, just fucking So 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 tell die. me what this guy does all right. because So when Demon Lord Belzenlock enters the battlefield, I exile cards from the top of my library until I hit a non-land, then put that card into my hand. Okay? Yeah. If the CMC of No, 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 no. If the CMC is 4 or greater, I repeat it. And I keep okay. going. Then, okay. once I'm finally done, I deal one damage to myself for each card put into my hand. All right. <laughs> so if I hit five consecutive CMC four or higher cards with this, yeah, I'm dead. Yes. And if not, I suit at the boots and I kill you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ah, uh, it was Commander Sphere. Is the uh, first fucking one. Okay, <laughs> man. Uh, I was really excited about how that was going to go. Uh, All right. Okay. I go to five. I equip yeah. the boots. Yeah. I swing at you in the air yeah. for 11. Yep, yep. All right. Well, GG. That was a good game. Fuck. What else? I was like, okay, yeah, there's a four. I want to I wanna believe. Oh, no, there's a two. There's a far Not sake. even close. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I figured I figured it would be lame to just be like, Joda and kill you. Is that, can I just play Joda? Uh, Joda? Uh, uh, Joda? Joda? Uh, Joda? Uh, Joda? Yeah. All right, well, fucking GGs. What a, what a game. Yeah, what a that, uh, that, that went places. 
And that wraps up our first game of the series, and we have a lot more where that comes from. I These are my favorite games to play, where it feels like everyone's playing a crazy deck, something powerful is going on, life totals are creeping down steadily at the same rate, no one person getting taken out of the game too quickly, and you don't know who's going to win until the final moments. Those are, those are my favorite ones to play. So before we get out of here, a reminder that this show and all of my creations are powered by Patreon. You can see the patrons right up there on your screen as well as a link to Patreon in the description down below if you yourself would like to contribute to help me keep my lights on and this show going. New episodes of Friend Ed are going to be going up every Monday. That is right, every single Monday. We've got a nice backlog of games coming, but that doesn't mean we don't want your feedback as well. So tell me what worked, what didn't, who you want more of, uh, things that you would like to see, and we will do our best to work those requests in. So until next time, thank you so much. Consider checking out other videos that are on the channel. And until next Monday, I will see you later.